Gibbous13 bringing you my next Let's Play, which is Final Fantasy VII. And I know everybody, pretty much everybody has done it, but I'm going to do it anyways because I like the game. And so I figured I'd go ahead and start this, and I'm also doing Klonoa, if I'm saying that right, yay. But I figured I might as well give myself two things to do at once so I don't get bored with one or the other. And I'm also going to try a new type of commentary for me, which is post-recording commentary, which should allow me to add something a little less distracted to the video. So I'm going to be quiet until the cutscene is over so you can enjoy the prettiness of PS1 graphics and the nice music. Cloud, right now known as X Soldier. Now I'm going to try and read as much of the dialogue as I can, but I'm probably not going to do a very good job at voice acting because I'm female and they're male, and I can't do a big black eye at all. Okay, now this is the battle system. You have to wait for your time gauge to charge up before you can do any actions at all. Anything like items, attack, magic, this is the first one that says your time gauge. Here are your standard HP numbers, MP, which is magic points. Uh, the limit is basically like overdrive from Final Fantasy X. And to execute commands, you use the circle button rather than the X button, because in Japan, the circle means enter in or to be correct, while well, X means no or cancel. So if you're new to the system, you should probably try practicing that a little bit. I'm not really sure if there are any other games using that, but this one does, and it can take some getting used to. Wow, you used to be in Soldier, alright. Not every day you find one in a group like Avalanche. Soldier? Aren't they the enemy? What's he doing with us in Avalanche? Hold it, Jesse. He was in Soldier. He quit them and now is one of us. Didn't catch your name. And for this, I'm just gonna keep Cloud. Because I'm not creative. Cloud, eh? I'm... I don't care what your names are. Once this job's over, I'm out of here. What the 
hell are you doing? I thought I told you you'd never move in groups. Our target's the North Macro Reactor. We'll meet on the bridge in front of it. Next soldier, huh? Don't trust him. And I'm going to be keeping all the original names. And that's instructions on how to run. Which I don't know why they don't give it to you earlier. And I kind of sat here for a while because I forgot that the little me cutscene was over. And I sat here for quite a while. But then I move on. The surrounding graphics are very nice for the time. And it's nice to have a fully rendered PS1 um, background. Especially in places like this, the reactor. And for some reason, the... Uh, my emulator doesn't pick up on the screen break that happens when you enter a uh, battle, but it's supposed to, and it makes a sound. But anyways, you probably will not be seeing that little animation. So I hope that doesn't... you're not missing much, it's just screen breaking, but still, i let you guys know that. And also, the time gauge does a little slowly, but it gets a lot better once you have someone else in your party, and you're not just waiting for one person to charge. Yo, this your first time in a reactor? No. After all, I did work for Shinra, you know. The planet's full of Mako energy. People here use it every day. It's the lifeblood of this planet, but Shinra keeps sucking the blood out with these weird machines. I'm not here for a lecture. Let's just hurry. That's it. You're coming with me from now on. And now we have Barrett. Joining our party. He's got the he has a gun for an arm. It's pretty awesome. And Biggs is the main door hacker, I guess. He doesn't play much of a part except for opening doors. At least I think that's Biggs. Anyway, anyways, here is a chest to get items from them and in this case it was a phoenix down, which when used will resurrect a party member, which is useful, and I think it provides them with half health. Push that button over there. Dying cloud. The only thing I care about is finishing this job before security and robot guards come. All oh, poor Baron is round little arms, and he's back in Cloud's pocket, which I'm assuming where all party members go since they just kind of walk into you and disappear. Pocket buddies. Alright, well, that's it for this episode. I will probably be coming out with a new one pretty soon, and I hope you enjoyed this commentary a lot more. Thanks. Bye.